Hello again, friends. Well, we've certainly felt like anything and everything has been thrown at us in the past 16 months of this pandemic, haven't we? We may have asked the question in the past, who can we count on when things are difficult and the chips are down? We get some answers during the tough months we've experienced. I think for many people going forward in tough economic times and for folks like the COVID long haulers, there are more times this question will be asked. Who can I count on? Listen to these comforting words from the Bible. I'm counting on the Lord. Yes, I am counting on him. I put my hope in his word. I long for the Lord more than centuries long for the dawn. Yes, more than centuries long for the dawn. Now, what I particularly love about this affirmation is what precedes it that tells us a bit about the condition of this person. From the depths of despair, O oh God, I call for your help. Hear my cry, O oh Lord, pay attention to my prayer. Lord, if you kept a record of our sins, who, O oh Lord, could ever survive? But you offer forgiveness that we might learn to fear you. Well, you can't get much deeper than the depths of despair facing an endless record of wrongs, can you? Where else? Can we expect to find forgiveness for the ugliest of sins? You know, if we're honest, we know that we're hopeless. That if we listen closely to our hearts, below that hopelessness is another sound. The sound of God's voice inviting us to come to him for help, for forgiveness, for rebuilding, for a future with hope. Now that sound is always there, no matter how tough life has become. We have to pause and listen, but it's always there because God is always with us and always ready to rescue those who ask for it. O oh, Israel, now insert your own name there, hope in the Lord. For with the Lord there is unfailing love. His redemption overflows. He himself will redeem Israel, put your name there, from every kind of sin. Oh, thank you, God, for unfailing love. Thank you that your forgiveness doesn't just trickle, but it overflows. You yourself have taken notice of us, even our sin, every kind of sin in our lives. And you've been willing to put all the punishment for that on Jesus and through Jesus' death on the cross to offer us forgiveness and healing and hope. We're certainly counting on that today, counting on your love and mercy counting on the forgiveness won by Jesus, counting on the fact that it's available to us, not just when we're trying to get things right, but when we fail miserably and think wrong and speak wrong and do poorly, and when we fall repeatedly. We are counting on your great grace and mercy to be there for us. When we look up to you and ask for your help to change and move in your direction, surrendering our will and our life into your care. These verses tell us that your love is unfailing. And do we ever need that? We need that today. We need that every day. We need that in our darkest moments of shame and suffering. So Lord, wherever my friends find themselves today as they watch this video, I pray that they will be conscious of your presence and blessing. I ask Holy Spirit that you will work in their hearts to bring them to a place of hope and repentance. We all need that, Lord. Our hearts get hard in our self-will and self-centered ways. We need help, but don't want to admit it. We feel down, but don't turn to you for the uplift you are so ready to supply. Well, today, God, here we all are opening our hearts to you, counting on you, hoping in your word, trusting in your unfailing love. I pray that God, the source of hope, will fill you completely with joy and peace because you trust in him. Then you will overflow with confident hope through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Well, God's love and forgiveness, we can count on it today. Let's live in the joy of that and have a great day.